Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't like the idea of these types of games being focused. Like, you know, it's, it's the natural evolution of communities that get smaller and smaller and smaller as they become competitive, right? Um, this goes for every single small, like a lot of small games become speedrun games eventually. Uh, the people that continue to play them just, they figure out a way to find new fun in the same content, right? Like, you know, Metroid, right? You know, you can only beat Metroid so many times, and so you're going to start trying to beat it faster or beat it better, in quotes, I guess. Um, Splint Mail, that's a nice thing to find early. Strength Potions will actually feel like they're working towards something. And that, and, and, and when it comes to, um, you know, roguelikes that have been around for a very long time, they... Like, NetHack is... is ba it's basically... If you're going to play NetHack in 2020 or start playing NetHack in 2020, I killed a rat in its sleep and dispatched of a jackal. You're not playing NetHack because you want to go adventuring. You're playing NetHack because, well, you want to try and compete in those competitions and get good enough to be able to compete in those competitions. Or at least that, that's the selling point for most people. Um, I killed another rat. Never mind. I guess I'm just going to throw the splint mail. Onto the switch. Bunk. So I can get to the um, key. Hopefully it's a good door key. Man, I'm kind of sad I lost that last run. I had some pretty nice scrolls. But I kind of fell down through a floor where I shouldn't have. Is it actually two different? Yeah, there's two. Two treasure rooms on this one. Interesting. Okay, so there's another door key here. Why not just a dart? Because I ain't going to use that armor anytime soon. I'd rather use the darts to kill things. Spear. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I see the, the darts as being more immediately useful. But you're totally okay to disagree with that. Not an axe. Let's read some scrolls. Surprise a color on the ground forming glyphs. Must have been a scroll of sanctuary. Well, that was a scroll of mapping. Scroll of identify. That's the one I want. Identify that turquoise potion. Fire immunity. Good to know. Now that I know what scrolls of identify look like, I can start identifying things as I find them. Chainmail? Yeah, see, like this? Th that's... Um, find another scroll of identify. Once I get a, a strength potion, then I can wear that chainmail. And that's armor that I'll use much sooner. There's a potion of strength. Which I didn't actually identify, oddly enough. And then a scroll of protect weapon. And you know what? Let's just hope that it's not... Um... Chainmail will increase my stealth range by one. Let's hope it's not uh, 
cursed. That's definitely not. Excellent. Eight javelins? What is this run? Getting all the weapons early. Nice. Not throw it away, yo. The wandering jackal. I can also use the spear. I killed the jackal, catching it aware, unaware. So those of you who haven't seen Brogue before, the spear has further range than the dagger that I've been using. The dagger I have to get right up next to things. Now I can hit them from a distance. Fuck it. Oh. All right, well, now I'm hallucinating. Must have been a potion of hallucination. Excellent. Those potions of hallucinations, man, they pretty. Whatever that was, I killed it in its sleep. I really like spears because they let you hit at a distance. There's an eel in the water. There's something in the water. Classic line from many horror films. Also, can I just like shout out the fact that, good God, the hallucination Animation is wonderful in this. Chat, how do you guys feel about roguelikes being incredibly uh, competitive and focusing on tournaments? I'll be honest, like, e even though DCSS is on my go-to list, like on my immediate, I need to play this list, um, it's focus on... Competition makes me less interested. I have no idea what I just killed, but I just killed something, so. Oops. It's a goblin, I think. Uh, you starve to death. So eventually you will, um... If you just wait out everything... Odds are pretty good you'll run out of food and have a hard time eventually. I'll walk up on that. Po another potion of hallucination. Cool. Useful for throwing at things. I don't know what that was. Oh, it was a monkey. Like, here's the thing, right? Competitive runs in Cave of, Caves of Cud, I am not even remotely interested in that. Um, competitive runs in Jupiter Hell, I'm interested in. I think, to me, it kind of depends on the game, specifically. <laughs> You're never good enough to care about competitions, TBH. Yeah, I can see that. God. Really is a potion of life here. At least the hallucination's almost done. Go. I hit something with my spear. Found a scroll that is unknown. In the staircase. Uh, it's 2 a.m. actually. What am I doing up this late? Well, I finished my stream at about 6. And I went and I, uh, I made dinner, and it was delicious. Then I went and slept for a few hours. And I'm uh, back. Because... Who doesn't want to dispatch a couple ton of wear with a spear from a distance? I think it's bullshit and annoying, but also oddly addicting and hypnotizing, and I like it. Crystator. But mostly bullshit and annoying. I feel like dailies could be an occasion to showcase some unique builds or quirks about a game instead of competition. I think when you have a focused small community, they're just going to inherently skew towards competition. Like I was saying earlier, like... 
the reason why a lot of classic games eventually just become speedrun games. A brown potion. Shall drink the brown po Actually, you know what? I'm gonna wait. Until this stuff goes away. Eats at my flesh, and I drink... Pick up a yellow potion. Trying to... Catch up with that cobalt. Kill the goblin. Spear is making my life so much easier. Yellow flavor. Mmm. Just like muscle milk, you have all of the flavors of disgusting. And I quickly dispatch of the goblin conjurer. Any rooms I'm missing here? I don't think so. Yeah, that de definitely tasted purple. Funny, because you say something tasted purple, and I know exactly what you're talking about. I really want to step on that, just to see what happens. I mean, I could throw something at it. Do I have anything I could throw at it? I could throw my dagger at it, but... Hundred and fifty four more turns until my armor shares its truce its true uh reality there's a cobalt that is hunting me now dead pick up 114 gold pieces and a potion of strength which i shall immediately drink But how are you doing today, Pi? It's got to be a much more reasonable time for you. But I guess when it comes to dailies, like, eventually... You're going to run out of unique builds, right? Un unless you're a game that has virtually, like, infinite combinations. Which some games, you know, to their credit, do. Um... Uh-oh. Paralyzing gas sprays upwards through the floor. Jelly, you're a moron. Yep. Yeah. Here comes the pink jelly. There we go. And stab two of them at a time, so... It's much easier to dispatch of jellies with a spear than it is with a dagger. Gotta get over to that other side over there. Let's head down this way. Although, I haven't said this enough in the last, like, 72 hours, so I'm just gonna say real quick. Thank you so much to everybody who's tuning into these streams. You know, my, my channel is quite possibly one of the nichest channels on this website. Not saying it's the most. There's certainly some very niche channels on Twitch. Man, being able to hit two things at once is so nice. But I do kind of pride myself that... Dispatched a monkey, catching it unaware. I was also mostly unaware of that monkey. But, you know, all of you took the time to tune in this evening. You know, we have 86 people watching Brogue at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Which is... In my opinion, and I, I, say, I say this about a lot of roguelikes, I think that's a bigger achievement than having thousands of people watching a stream of Fortnite. So thank you. A war pike. Ooh. Bunch more potions. Get the jelly. Uh oh.
There we go. That's a much wiser spot to be. <laughs> so seriously, thank you to those of you who tune into this stream and watch this stream. Thanks to those of you who have the uh, hats next to your name, because I, I probably wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Oh. Okay, then. Never mind, I misread something. I, I thought I was falling through a hole for a second there. Roll of Sanctuary. Keep demons and spectral monsters far away from me. Arrow turret missed me. Let's just kill the arrow turret. Kill that cobalt. Speaking of music, actually, earlier today, a cassette arrived that I could totally play. Um, but the problem is I don't know how many people who watch my stream are actively into black metal. <laughs> it's a small independent band that I've seen live probably about a dozen times. Now, I'll be honest, I was drunk most of them, so... I do recall seeing them live once or twice, but I know I've seen them more than that. They are a, uh, a local black metal band called Wormwitch. I'm thinking about just recording... Ooh. I'm thinking about recording the tape and chucking it up on my archive channel. Like nothing in this room. Like this at all. Just curious now. Do you want me to link the band camp? Because I can do that. Uh, long story short, they did a limited... Um, a limited run of... A lot of their older demos. But uh, they, they, they remastered all of them. So they re-recorded parts that sounded like shit. That was maybe dumb. Close there. Need to figure out what some of these potions are. A satanic theme band? Not really. Oh, I see. Here, I'll, I'll link it. Specifically, I'll link the tape. That. Septentrion Revival is there, uh, is the tape that I bought. There's actually six still up for sale. It was funny, it shipped yesterday and it arrived this morning. Kind of low. that strength potion or I see well let's drink a violet potion ah the potion of detect magic apply that which also will tell me things that are evil so like this scroll is dangerous Protective Golden Life covers your spear. Okay, so scrolls of protect weapons. 
Spell of Enchanting. Okay. Which means I'm going to... Let's enchant the axe. That was a scroll of shattering. One of my favorite effects in the game. Destroys all walls in the nearby area. That's a scroll of remove curse. I'm going to equip the axe. And I'm going to enchant it. I'm going to enchant my chainmail. Seems like enchanting the axe makes it uh, lighter. And I get an additional bonus on it. I'm going to drink this potion. Potion of telepathy. Brown potion. Potion of life. Good shit. Indigo potion. Potion of levitation. An orange potion. Potion of speed. So now really fast, I f I'm flying. <laughs> A little silly. I'll take it. To play their music? Uh, it there... That one, no. But that's one of those bands where I guarantee you they wouldn't care. <laughs> They're kind of in that... That level of they're literally recording all of their music in their garage. And so I, I, they're not going to be the kind of band that's going to be on um, Twitch copyright striking music. If that makes sense. So technically it would be me rolling the dice, but I'd be willing to take that risk because I guess. Although I, I could very easily get in touch with them and it's probably okay. Okay, so there's stuff in the water. War axe. Teleportation charm. Those are very helpful to have. Dispatch of the cobalt. I'm one-hitting cobalts now, which is nice. I dispatched something, catching it unaware. I defeated the eel. Kill the cobalt. Scroll of identify. Excellent. Let's see how I can how well we deal with jellies. Excellent. Eat the pink jelly. Two scrolls of enchanting. Could just keep making my axe better. I'd actually do that. Although, um. I did get in touch with this band and got permission to use their music. In fact, to the point where they were like, hey, let us know when you're going to stream it and we'll show up. We'll try and show up. Use this on this. Aggravate monsters. Whoops, that was a misclick. Another identify. I should also identify that, um, that ring. Or I could just put it on, see what it does, but... Enchant- oh, jeez. Enchant my chainmail. And enchant my axe again. Because- and my axe. I missed my telepathy already, and... <laughs> Like, man, why'd you have to go away so quickly, telepathy? You were so nice. Well, of identify, excellent. I can identify the um, diamond ring. 
Ooh. This ring of blood magic will heal you in proportion to the damage you inflict on others. Cursed rings will cause you to lose health when inflicting damage. Now wearing the ring. And that potion is evil. Keep that in mind. So I'm curious, CCX, what, what do you think now that you're curious? And what do you think of a Canadian black metal? An unknown tan potion. A bunch of sleeping jackals. Piece of cake. I appear to have just dropped a couple frames. Sorry about that, chat. Dropped about 40, 50 frames. Forgot that. Uh, 740. You have trouble listening to it casually? Fair enough. I, black metal for me is kind of, um, it's a wall of noise thing. I really enjoy black metal because, oh, I now have a mango. Excellent. Um, I really enjoy black metal because it's kind of like a wall of noise. It's, it's almost in the, I just shut my brain off and the black metal happens around me. God, the second you have a nicer weapon, jellies are a pushover. I'm going to throw this at the enchanter. Nope, I don't want to drink it. I want to throw it. Find out what it is. Oh. Well. <laughs> I, okay. I know what that potion is now. And I'm down here now. He's dead. That's good. I pick up a dagger. Okay, well, that's the floor down, which I don't really want to do. Let's find our way back up. Caustic trap. I actually, I had this pretty great discussion at the centipede. And I dispatched it in its sleep at a the Polish Games event at uh, PAX West this past year. Last PAX West that happened, obviously. Um, with uh, if anybody here is familiar with the game called Darkwood, it was the uh, co-founder of the publisher that published that game. And uh, I went up and said hello because he was wearing uh, a black Delilah murder shirt and was literally covered in concert wristbands. We've moved back up to the floor where we, where we were previously, and we have a potion of life which could save our ass, which is good. Kill a bunch of monkeys and get my stuff back. A toad, which I killed while it was unaware. Heads up, chat. Investments are open. And the way he described black metal was kind of wonderful. He, he described black metal as... And he, after recommending a, a few... Black metal bands that I'd never heard of. Most of them German. Um, so I can't actually pronounce any of the names still. But... Um, after re recommending a bunch of black metal bands, and I recommended a bunch of thrash, because I, I listened to a lot of thrash, and he wasn't super familiar with thrash. What? Oh, a pressure plate clicks underneath me. Oh, I'm stuck in a... In a net. Um, he, he described black metal because one of the other people that we were speaking with um, also described themselves as someone who... Uh, or as, as, as people who didn't generally... Uh, you know, let's try throwing... Potion of Aggravate Monsters at these. Kind of... Oh, didn't seem to do anything. Oh, jeez, they stepped on the... Paralyzing gas. Um, 
I'm gonna teleport. Was that a scroll? Okay, I didn't read the whole thing. <laughs> Mobby. Wouldn't be my first time I've done something like that. But anyway, he, he, he described black metal as a wall of noise, and there's something kind of comforting in the amount of absurd sound you can get from that style of music. It's also oddly calming once you get into it. I don't know. I, I very much enjoy black metal. The lumbering creature carries an enormous club that can swing at incredible force. The ogre has a 43% chance to hit you. Typically, it hits for 27% of your current health. At worst, it could defeat you in four hits. Ouch. 57% chance to hit it for 16%. Oh, hallucination would uh, affect it there. Let's try it. No, I don't want to drink it. Harmlessly. Absolutely nothing. No. I hit the ogre. The ogre missed me. All right, it hit me, but off balance. Killed it. Where the heck's the key? The key on this floor somewhere. Locked door down there. I don't have a key for it right now. Pity I don't have a scroll of shattering currently. I wonder if I use the teleportation charm if it could teleport me in there, actually. <laughs> Probably not. But I got some quote unquote protection charm to stop that from happening. Unless there's a key on this floor that I've missed. Oh, there's food actually. To go grab. Marble statue has withered the years with grace. Big goblin. Goblin conjurer has a spear. Eh. Ow. Oh. You had to go hit me. I destroy a whole bunch of spectral blades. Chasing this shithead. Oh, there's a door here. Almost like he's showing me where I need to go. Not what you want to do. Goblin. The luminescent fungus casts a pale, eerie glow. I dispatch two goblins in their sleep. There's two more still sleeping. And I kill both of them, too. And I now have a door key. Excellent. That goblin was running to its friends and led me to a key, which I'm going to use to now steal their stuff. You know, if you really start to like contemplate the moral quandaries of this, it's a little dark, let's be honest. I ate my food and I'm just gonna wait for the hallucination to Wear off. Ring of regen, a haste charm, staff of blinking, a dagger. I'm gonna take the ring. We're currently listening to the uh, Little Nightmares soundtrack. This ring of uh, life will allow you to recover lost health at an accelerated rate. Cursed rings will decrease or even halt your natural regen. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Most useful to me right away. Oh, 
Let's just throw that over there. Now have the ring of regen. I equip it. I'm gonna drink this potion, see what happens. Oh, creeping death. Cool. Um that over there. Let's throw that over there. Getting rid of shit that I don't need. Hey, Avenue Philanthropist, how you doing? You descend to floor eight. I've already been here. As I knocked myself down here. I'm sure do a lot of killing. He always plays the murder hobo in games like this, that's for sure. Sleeping Goblin Conjurer. Who is now fleeing. As you fucking should, mate. Let's throw a javelin. And he's dead. See two wandering monkeys. Bunch of wandering monkeys, actually. And they're all dead. Potion back. There's a centipede at the far end. I don't think I actually read their description today. The monstrous centipede. <sighs> Nis... In scissors? I don't actually know what that means. Are imbued with a horrible venom. In scissors, like mouth parts, I guess. That will slowly kill its prey. Very low chance to hit me, but I can kill it very quickly. Found a potion of strength, which I'm going to chug. A jelly that I destroyed. A scroll that I can't read yet. Sleeping, now hunting goblin. You know, this run's going pretty good so far. It's okay, we'll throw it away momentarily, but... Currently going pretty okay. See a goblin conjurer? Where? Oh, there you are. Oops, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Don't dive into the depths, you silly. No potion of levitation or anything. Magic mapping. Lepathy. Sanctuary. Aggravate monsters. Read this. Oh, well, I summoned a bunch of bats. Cool. They're now dead bats, but that's not helpful to me. <laughs> Fighting with the goblin conjurers and the goblin summoner. They're both dead now. I want to go over there. And scissors are sharp, pointy teeth. Oh. I assumed it was like some form of mandibles. Did you uh did you check out that link I, I posted, CCX? You may have responded to me and I just didn't see it. No, you didn't. Wormwitch is the uh link to the tape that I now have. Burgundy potion. Kill two goblins pretty quick. Pretty handedly. I have a pink potion. There's a fire trap down there. That I could use to my advantage as I have a potion of fire immunity if the situation called for it. You have two tickets wins in a row. Good shit, man. Look at that. 
That's <laughs> goblin cosplayer. I mean, cosplaying a wizard. There's a pink jelly, and I killed a toad. Jellies are much easier to kill with the better weapons. Let me tell you. Some glowy fungi. This I'm not a fan of. I use a scroll of protect weapon. You hit the acid mound. I hit it twice. The acid mound is now dead. There's an ogre who is sleeping. I hit the ogre in her sleep for 50% of her health. She's off balance. She's awake. Knocked me back. The ogre is now dead, and there's a downward staircase. It'll take us down to floor 10. I'm going to read the scroll of aggravate monsters. Come to me, gubbins. There's an ogre coming for me. I'm going to throw a javelin at it. Hit it for 10% of its health. Not bad. Soft balance. It missed. Got it. I have another scroll of enchanting. Oop, a net trap. You're going to check it after later today at work? Okay, cool. I'd love to know what you think, though. Huh. That's probably a word that I've heard said out loud, but just never seen written. Notice an inactive gas vent after I stepped on it. Grass like fungus and then dead grass like fungus. A sacred glyph adorns the floor, allowing Glowing with a powerful warding and en enchantment. If a scroll, a bedroll lies in the corner, disintegrating with age. Something was here. 205 pieces of gold. I kill both of the eels. There's so many eels down here. I have two scrolls of sanctuary. I need to figure out the correct... Oh, come on. I mean, I, I was headed for the stairs anyway, so it doesn't actually matter. Um, I was... I need to figure out the correct use for the scroll of sanctuary is what I was saying. Oh, it's dark down here. Very pretty, though. Checked out this... Uh, just this environment combined with the music that we have on. Beautiful. Here, thanks for the host. Cheers. Don't see manual hosts very often. A toad. Saw me. I dispatched... No, it didn't. I dispatched it because it was unaware. Slicing its head off. God, it's so dark down here. Beautiful. There's a bloat that is currently sleeping. Now coming towards me. Run away from the caustic gas. Nope, do not do that. Gas trap. There's a spider. The spider's red eyes pierce the darkness in search of enemies. To ensure with its projectile web, to in ensnare, not ensure, ensnare with its projectile webs and dissolve with its deadly poison. 
not entirely sure how strong I am versus this thing right now. Actually, I can check. 31% chance to hit you, typically poisons for three turns. At worst, it could fatally poison you in four hits. It's not bad. I have a 51% chance to hit the spider, typically hitting for 50% of its current health. And at best, I could kill it in two hits. So that's that's not bad at all. Um, a little bit scared of webbing stuffs, but I do have that potion of life. I do not need this. <laughs> Let's chuck this aside. Oh, there goes the webs. I missed the spider. I missed the spider. Well, I hit it. <laughs> Coming towards me. And I defeated the spider. I'm stuck in its web still, though. Go pick up all of my darts. Move through that. An empty room. God, I love the atmosphere of this game. Admittedly, a large portion of it, I think, is uh, my choice of music. There's a Dur Blade, Dar Blade Master. An elf of the deep, a Dar Blade Master, leaps towards her enemies with a frightening speed to engage in deadly swordplay. Kill me in five hits. I can kill it in four. I threw a dart and I missed. Is an elf. Is unaware of my existence. I hit it, catching her unaware for 78% of her health. And she is now dead. I want to say I died to two of those. My best run ever, actually. There's a pink jelly. Actually, Stone, I'm curious. What's your best score that you've had? Because you've been playing this kind of nonstop, yeah? Another spider is sleeping. Now a dead spider. More blade masters and a goblin conjurer. A teleportation charm. We're pretty safe. I kill the conjurer in its sleep. I use the potion of life. Cool. Gonna move. You know, there was one time I used a teleportation charm, and it teleported me right on top of a trap that I hadn't discovered. Kind of upset me, not gonna lie. But I had to use the potion of life there. Try not to fight two of those at once. Depth six? Shit. That's our downward staircase. Or I could try and fight them again. There's splint mail. I have better. I don't, actually. Let's go pick up that splint mail. I would like the coins that are in this room. 174 coins, 68 pieces of gold. There's a centipede. Defeated the centipede, it didn't even hit me. 238 pieces of gold. Let's move. Well, you've certainly mentioned playing it a few times. There's two vampire bats hunting me. 
Let them come to me. That's one. That's two. I fell down a hole in the floor, but we can see some torches off in the distance over on the right. Must have been some sort of trap in that room. Killed the arrow turret. Ooh. Been poisoned. Hopefully that doesn't last too long. Fortunately, um, not a major debuff. You hit something, you missed something. Something seizes your legs. Oh, would you look at that? Bog monster. I, uh, what are my weapons here? I'm going to drink the potion of descent. It's going to drop me. We're going to plunge downwards. Myself and the bog monsters are outside and out of the ground now. And uh, they writhe helplessly on the ground. Rather than fighting me. Wow, there was a lot of them. Good lord. Um, there's also an ogre shaman back there. Oh. And one of them uh, triggered a pressure plate, which seems to have set the ground on fire. And they're now all burning. Um... Yes, as far as I know. Um, why did I plunge into lava? <laughs> <laughs> I thought I was a tile higher. Oh, man. <laughs> okay, that's funny. <laughs> well, I mean, that's my best run on this save again. I've done that. I'll have you know. It's been too long since I've played a mud to have a favorite. Bye, boot. Couldn't tell you. Uh. That's funny. <laughs> I, I was too busy. I'll be honest with you. I was too busy staring at all those ogres going like, whoa, well, without looking where I was walking. Like, literally was looking somewhere else while moving. To killed by lava. You know what? At least I did it to myself. I'll have you know. <laughs> at least I did it to myself. Um, how do you, I'm trying to think, oh, there you go. I was running around here, put the centipede, moved up. Grab that. Went down the floor. Killed the two vampire bats. Yes, rewind. Or rather, fell through the floor for some reason. Something triggered a tra trap. I killed that. And I got caught by the bog monsters, which probably would have killed me. And I used the pit. And I walked down here. I fight with the bog monster, hit the bog monster. 
Ogre, Shaman, Chance of Hush, Guttural Tongue. And then something causes it to catch fire. And then I stepped into lava because I thought that I'd moved a tile higher. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> All right, guys, that's like two hours, two hours and 20 minutes of late night cast, which is kind of about how long I usually stream for these evening streams, which puts me at a total of like 12 hours streamed in the last 24. People taking selfies and falling down cliffs. Yeah. More like um, running into uh, ancient shamans and then tripping into lava. Back to the beginning of the Little Nightmare soundtrack because we're in the spooky bit. But uh, if you want to see more of this, I'll probably chuck that VOD up on YouTube because that VOD was hilarious. Uh, if you want to see more of my stuff um, over on YouTube, you can find it there. I have, and it gives me some pretty severe eye strain. Uh, the font choices in that game are really bad for my eyeballs, but I respect the hell out of Cogmind. I think Cogmind's great. Um, yeah, that's 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 me and Cogmind. I think Cogmind's great, but... Um, I, I think it's very hard to uh, play a good ending. Thanks, Cat Pig. I appreciate it. I kind of wanted that run to keep going. I, I could have gone for another 20, 30 minutes, but I'm starting to get drowsy. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, my dude Dyer, who's one of my teammates, is on. I'm going to chuck you guys over to Dyer. He's playing some Kingdoms Reborn, little town builder. Um, to Technically, Friday's my day off, so I won't be streaming. Um, but I will be doing some editing. Lava's telling me that I'm sleepy, and it's bright and shiny, and it just, it was completely un impossible for me to, like, refrain from diving into the beautiful, warm embrace of the molten rock. Uh, if you want to support my stuff directly, I have a Patreon. Uh, I do this full-time, and uh, as a weird small channel on Twitch, I need to do what I can to stick around, so uh, every little bit helps if you have a dollar to spare. Um, I won't be streaming today, yeah, after I wake up. Um, but I will be editing. I'm working on it today in DF, which I, I just needed to put the finishing touches on. Hopefully it'll be done by Saturday. Um, there will also be a public episode of my podcast going up tomorrow, tomorrow morning. So, no, Sunday, day after tomorrow.